Hey guys, Double Wide Six, and we're taking a look here at a Cub Cadet. It's the XT1. Basically, a full plastic tractor. There's the hood. You can see it was left outside in a trailer park. Um, but anyhow, it's in rough shape. Problem is, transmission doesn't work. So the guy wanted me to take a look at it and figure out what's up with it. So that's what we're going to do. I had one of these in recently and I noticed that the uh, little bearings, usually there's brass inside the wheels, it was the exact same tractor as this and there was an issue with the, the brass and when I took apart the wheel to look at the bushing, it was made out of plastic. No wonder why there was going to be a problem. So these tractors just get cheaper and cheaper each year. And the only good news about this one is that the engine runs fine, according to the guy that owns it. And this transmission is uh, made of aluminum. It's not one of the plastic ones. I uh, had a couple of the plastic ones. I've never actually seen a plastic one fail. I've had several aluminum ones fail. But this video, here's what we're looking for. Um, problem is transmission doesn't work. And if we take a look at this, we can see here's the right side and there's the left side. And you'll notice the left side has evidence of an oil leak. So I told the customer, you know, make sure the belt's on, make sure the pulley on top of the transmission is not loose. So I don't know if you could see in here, but there's a pulley in there with a fan on it. Sometimes that gets stripped and the spline wears out. So I looked at it myself, everything's good um, in that regard. So I'm gonna drop the transmission. I think we need a seal on the left hand side. We're gonna fill it with oil and we'll see if the transmission starts working. If it does, I'll order a seal and that's where we'll be at with this one. Generally, these transmissions are pretty easy to take out. It's just uh, four bolts usually. I'm gonna take the tires off just so you guys can see better. Plus, it's gonna give me a little better access to the plate that holds that transmission on there. This bracket needs to be removed because the transmission's bolted to it. So at this point, I found the sticker here. It says Tough Torque, if you're wondering what brand it is. It, the other one that a lot of them are is Hydro Gear. But I can see the fill plug here. So what I'm gonna do is clean this off. I'm not gonna take apart the transmission anymore. I'm gonna try and get oil in there. So I'm just gonna clean this.
hopefully you guys can see but right here's the fill cap or vent plug one or the other So there's a rubber cap and then it looks like there's like a plastic insert in here. Actually this is rubber too. There's a rubber plug. So I'm going to carefully try and pull this plug out. I'm going to need a smaller screwdriver. If I could pop this out, I could probably add oil. And I don't want to put too much time into this, especially if the transmission's dead. The guy told me he got this tr tractor with the house he bought. The guy said it worked. He drove it. He said it drove like five feet and stopped. Alright, I'm going to rig something up to put oil in there. I got that cap off. Before I add any oil, I'm going to take a zip tie and see if there's any oil in there. So, I'm down two, three inches and there's nothing. I'm going to go down a little further with this. I went, I'm at the bottom, and I don't know how well you'll see this, there's, there's, that thing's like bone dry, so uh, we're going to fill it up, about an inch from the top, so the oil I'm going to put in here is Mobile One Full Synthetic 15W50, and that's a quart I don't know if it'll take all that but we shall see So I have this uh, syringe, just lubing up the plunger. One full syringe is five ounces. This should work pretty well. Fifteen ounces. So it took about a quart and a half, and then it overflowed a little bit. So I sucked a little bit out. I have it about right about three quarters of an inch from the top. So we'll just put on this vent plug, and we're gonna button this thing back up. Uh, the plan is going to be to drive this thing around, make sure the transmission works, and if that's working, I'm going to replace this left seal because that looked like that was leaking, and uh, I got to contact Tough Torque to get that, and they're pretty good with their parts and uh, their service there. If you ever need to use them, I've used them in the past. So I think at this point, I'm just going to button this thing back up and see if it works. Okay guys, got everything back together. I just checked the clock. The job took so far an hour and five minutes. So the customer told me the engine runs great. 
uh, by the looks of it, it doesn't look like it's going to run great, but we'll see. And I have the uh, lever pulled out on the back of the mower down here for uh, we're in um, bypass mode. So I want to try and get any bubbles out. And then I'm going to power wash this thing if it, if it runs. And we're going to look for leaks and determine if that seal is where it's leaking for sure. Well, it ran the thing, it, it ran real well, and I really have like uh, hilly terrain around here. I ran on my hill pretty much for about 10 minutes, and it looks good. There's a little bit of oil here, but that's, uh, that's not a seam there, that's just like a casting mark. Um, but anyhow, I think the, that oil was leaked when I filled it up. I don't see it like pouring out. Um, I am going to go and replace that left seal, which is pretty easy to do, but uh, I want to power wash this thing just because it's so dirty, and I told the guy if I could get the transmission going, I would uh, give him a tune-up. So I usually power wash them, especially when they're this dirty. So we'll quick clean this thing off, and uh, I got this uh, free pressure washer sent out to me, 10-day. Uh couldn't say no it was free and it's been working pretty good I've just been leaving it outside and using it about every other day here um, I like the fact it's horizontal it's got a Chinese Honda on there so uh, we'll show you how that works Well guys, just gave it a power washing. It's a uh, 2015 is what it says on the sticker under the seat. And I got it looking like a 2015 now. And the only thing I need to do here is uh, order that seal up and replace it. I don't see it leaking, but I'm sure that there's a leak there because uh, that's where all the oil was sticking when I showed you in the beginning of the video. So anyhow guys, thanks for sticking along on this one, and uh, I gotta tell you, most of these uh, transmission repairs are not this easy. I've had plenty of transmissions that I've tried adding oil to, and it really doesn't work. Um, but if you do see oil on the outside or around seals, then you have a pretty good idea that that's probably your problem. So anyhow guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. I'll put some links down below. Take care.